Good morning. Time to get you a check of the forecast. So we're going to start with the heat. There is a heat advisory for Collier County from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. as we expect our heat index values to be between 105 and 109. The good news is these showers and thunderstorms are going to roll through later on and help cool us off. But we are expecting our temperatures to be in the low 90s here today with extremely high humidity and that humidity and moisture is what's going to help fuel a 60 to 70 percent chance of afternoon showers and storms. And you can see all all of us so with heat index values in the triple digits later on today at this point in the summer we know what to do drink plenty of water try to find some shade and if you can enjoy the ac now we will cool down because of the radar those showers and thunderstorms will arrive again in the afternoon as we are set up with a easterly flow what that means for us is early morning showers are not going to be an issue it's all going to be over on the east coast in the morning hours and you can see that there between the upper keys homestead and even miami now later on this afternoon we are expecting a decent shot to see some wet weather. Matter of fact, you look at lunchtime, showers start to uh, bubble up here around the lake, and by 4 o'clock, we're rocking and rolling right along I-75 and Tamiami Trail, and these showers and storms will continue to pull off, and by 7 o'clock, most of it will be winding down, and you can see 8, 9 o'clock, still cloudy skies, a little drizzle out there, but the worst is over. Yesterday, we picked up an inch and a half in Fort Myers and about a quarter of an inch there in Naples, and for the month, we're still running a surplus of almost two inches in uh, Fort Myers and about three quarters of of an inch there in Naples. Our temperatures are a little bit above our average of 75, sitting in the mid to upper 70s early, and we are a degree or two warmer from Moorhaven, Clewiston, all the way up through Arcadia. Not a huge difference at all, and you can see that wind out of the east already. It will pick up today. We'll see it 10 to 15. That's what's going to drive those showers and thunderstorms in our direction. You can see 4 or 5 o'clock getting a little gusty in and around some of those showers and storms. So let's talk about the next couple of days. Tomorrow, almost identical to what we're going to experience here on your Monday sunshine through lunchtime. Here come the showers and thunderstorms rolling along the coast. They'll be done there after sunset Wednesday and Thursday, a little bit drier air moves in. So we're going to take our rain chances around 50 to 60%, but you can still see some scattered showers and storms there in the afternoon hours. So again, down there late week, but it's going to start coming right back up Friday into the upcoming weekend as this weather pattern isn't going to budge much. One other place where quiet the tropics right now, the National Hurricane Center, not monitoring any kind of development here expected over the next week and as we wrap up August into September we'll take it. So our forecast looks really similar almost each and every afternoon this week. We'll see those showers and thunderstorms continuing every day. A 60 to 70 percent chance with the lowest going to be on Thursday.